Let's talk about some other characteristics of Snapdragon. How does Snapdragon pollinate? Snapdragons are mainly pollinated by bumblebees because they are large and strong enough to open flowers and get pollen. They must be of considerable size and shape to trigger the opening of flowers. When the bumblebee is most active, Snapdragon will release its scent to match the activity of the pollinator. The bumblebee crawled inside the flower's lips and closed the flower's mouth. They fly from flower to flower, absorb nectar and pollen, and spread to other flowers. Snapdragons have many qualities that surpass the beauty and symbolism they represent. Snapdragon is the most popular and useful species. The colors are gorgeous and the ornamental nature is good. In addition to ornamental, Snapdragon has many functions, and these plants have been used for its medicinal value. They are known for their anti-inflammatory properties, and their ability to reduce stress and insomnia. They have also been used to treat hemorrhoids, wounds, tumors and ulcers. Snapdragons are edible, but they are most commonly used for decoration purposes in cakes, desserts, salads and cocktails. The oil obtained from the seeds is considered as healthy as olive oil. In addition, these plants have also been used to produce green dyes. The snapdragon flower is like a goldfish, floating in the wind, looking beautiful. With such flowers, there are naturally many people who raise them, and the breeding method is gradually perfected. It is understood that there are two main methods of reproduction of snapdragons, sowing and cutting. The cutting time is different from the cutting propagation of other flowers in spring and autumn. Snapdragon can be cut all year round. However, if you want to increase the survival rate, it is best to choose the spring and autumn seasons. If conditions permit, the greenhouse can also be carried out in winter. After cutting, spray water on the pot soil and cuttings twice a day in the morning and evening to keep the pot soil moist. On cloudy days, there is generally no need to water. If the pot soil is white, you can water it appropriately. In addition to cutting propagation, sowing can also be used for propagation. Snapdragon has a long history of cultivation as an ornamental plant and a generally curious object. Modern breeding makes them more attractive. Snapdragon is an important model of plant biology and development. It has been used as a model for biochemical and developmental genetics. In the next video, we will talk about the flower language of Snapdragon. Now we listen to a music. Remember that night Under those stars when they alight My head and my heart both realized For the very first time
So fire, the way that you walk. 